Welcome to the latest installment of CCW Battle Dome and the main event, Zachary Hex, the Black Craft Kid, the crown jewel champion of CCW, defends his championship against Landon Acosta of the Borough City Maniacs. Who will walk away with the championship? I guess we'll find out soon enough. You also got Frankie and D looking to sell a little, uh, looking to sell a little bit of a score. The Rose Dynasty taking on the peaceful boomerangs. Richmond, Virginia. Let's go. First matchup of the night, this is CCW Battle Dome Women's Champion, Christina Jagger with her baby boy, BJ the Kid in her corner, along with her nephew, Tyro. She's taking on Scarlet Rose, CCW Fatality Women's, er, excuse me, the CCW Fatality Hardcore Champion. <laughs> with, of course, our cousins, the Rose Dynasty, the new CCW Women's Tag Team Champions in her corner. Scarlet Rose pinned Chrissy the other day. See if Chrissy can get her win back. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, the women's world champion, Christina J. East Coast Murder Machines out in full force. Jagger looking to get that win back from Saturday. She got pinned by Scarlet Rose after a wicked and red rum stop. Representing the family from Charleston, South Carolina, the hardcore champion, S. Rose. Rose Dynasty out in full effect, too. Let's go. <laughs> Scarlet Rose. Throw a Jagger in the corner and chopping the hell out of her. Jagger with the reversal. Throws it right on her face. Right on her face. I don't know what Jagger was going for, going for, but she missed by a mile. Oh my God, kicked her right in the face. Jagger really fired up about that loss. 
Let's try to get it right. Dragon going after the arm. Jazzy Bella of the Challenger. Jack, look at the rest of the Rose Dynasty. Scarlet Rose. Rebound off the top. Nice springboard elbow drop. Elbow, rather. Scarlet Rose going after the leg. Oh no. Scarlet Rose, wicked, wicked leg submission there. Wait a minute. Oh no. Stop! Scarlet Rose! Again! Oh no! That red run stop took Jagger's lights out Saturday. Jagger going up high. Double axe handle. Board, form, smash. And it goes for it again. Same leg submission. Jack is gonna fight out of this. Does to what avail? Jackets got her up for with the face buster. Roll that thunder. Shades of her hero, Rob Van Dam. She's a hero. And gets the win. Here is your winner, Christina J. Dagger gets a win back from Saturday. East Coast Murder Machines. Standing tall. Go straight to the second match of the night. Try to three falls. Deuce. New Zealand's favorite bone collector. What's a rematch? One of their one of their rematch against Ace. 
the longest reigning internet champion after Ace beat Deuce soundly last week. Deuce wants to you know, prove that Ace got lucky, but I don't know. He's really got to put himself to the test here if he wants to prove that Ace got lucky. The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Making his way to the ring, representing the power trip from New York, New York, weighing in at 258 pounds, Deuce Rodriguez. Deuce, one of the most feared men in the business for his arsenal of submissions, most specifically to the leg. If you have a bum leg, he will target it. And his opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, weighing in at 250 pounds, the world's internet wrestling champion. Ace! The longest reigning champion in CCW history. <laughs> well over a year with the Internet Championship. And just like he's physically clutching that championship, he's found a way for a whole entire year to hang on to that championship. Going for the chop block already, but Ace must did his homework. Oh, springboard cross body. What deuce? Not even remotely close yet. Ah, oh, there he goes. Right to the leg. Again to the leg. Trying to hang on. Uh oh. She's got locked up. Florida Key. Ooh. 
perfect plex with a release. Back elbow to the face. Uh-oh. Deuce has got Ace. Beating the hell out of him. Going back after the leg. After the leg, just picking it apart. Trying to really make sure Ace doesn't walk anymore. Stepping right on his ankle. No respect. Ace is fighting back. Close line outside of the ring. Ace is going up high. Oh, eat the feet right on the floor. Got him up. Oh! Torture right backdrop. And wow! Back toss power bomb right on the hardwood floor. Ace is fighting back. Show Deuce that he's not afraid. Deuce looked like he was going for the chop block, but... Rolling in prettier on the floor. Can Ace get it? Oh, wait. Well, the only thing you missed so far... Scarlet Rose flaming out in the first match. Other than that, this is the second matchup of the night. Deuce is just torturing Ace's leg. Hamalot Lariat. He's getting downright physical. Ringside. Finney's two. Ace is fighting back. Sling blade. What an amazing sling blade. Deuce just going right at it. Another hammerlock lariat. Time to press. Ace. Oof. Just got him up. Got him up top. He's just going for something. Ace sits his ass back down. Ace is going up high. What's he going for? Oh! Deuce got his knees up. Deuce got his knees up. Chop block right to the leg. Deuce has got him up. The slice.
This match is getting insane. Another kick to the jaw. One, two, three. Tied up. Fall piece. Yeah. And Ace just missed like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Rack breaker straight to the back. Deuce missed the whole close line by a country mile. It's not even funny. Oh! Back packs into a arm breaker. The match between these two. Yeah. to Claudio Castanoli. Takes him over with a wrestling takedown. Fireman's carry style. Give him another hammerlock lariat. Just takes his head off. And Ace is like, no buys. No buys. Dudes can't believe it. match has been pretty damn crazy. Deuce go for what he was going for. Superplex. Oh, my God. To the Falcon's arrow. He got caught. to that leg a little bit more. Uh, oh, no. Danny Deuce clutch. Ace has got no choice but to tap. Deuce might have just earned himself a future in that championship match. Wait a minute. What the hell is Deuce doing? Deuce, what are you doing? Come on, you already won the match. No, not me. No, come on. And again, Ace is just tapping on the floor. His leg is shot. Come on. Get him out of there. It's enough. Jesus. This guy. Next, you got two men that are no strangers to each other whatsoever. Mr. Franklin Omega. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The artist formerly known as Frankie Omega. Taking on D. Frankie was eliminated by D last week here on Battle Dome. Frankie's looking for his... uh. For his justice. His full circle moment. Perhaps. As he eyes the CCW World Championship. There he goes. 
Ireland's own. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ireland. Weighing in at 237 pounds, the savior, Frankie. Besides so his, um, his shortcoming last week in the main event, Frankie's been looking good ever since he's returned to CCW, period. As he looks for his, once again, like I mentioned earlier, his full circle moment. He's chasing the old ghosts from the past. That being the CCW World Championship. Which, what do his buddies have? So it's interesting to see what, uh, how that plays out in the future. And his opponent from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 215 pounds, D. Come on, let's go. He's another one that's been looking good ever since his return to CCW. Came up short in that big six-man tag match Saturday, but can he bounce back and get a win here today? Frankie doesn't seem impressed. Little chain up. Throws D over. Says he's the goddamn man around here. Oh. D lighting him up. What a Ooh, quick kick and knee combo. Ah, uh, Frankie said no, 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 no. I'm infinity. Frankie just lighting D up right now. He would have suplex it to a Falcon's arrow. Okay. Right, went for a knee lift, but Frankie moved out of the way. Frankie goes after the leg, dragon screw. Mm, picture perfect knee straight to the face. Frankie letting everybody know what's up. Moonsault. That was perfect. He said, nope. Not quite just yet. Frank is working on deep. Getting him up. Pulls him over. Avada Kedavra. My boot and your face. Says Frankie. He goes for the moonsault again. Chop kick. Ooh, a Phoenix Splash. Frank goes for the cover. He said, hell no. Frank is looking at the referee.
a minute. D with the reversal. Sits Frankie down. Oh, D with a flying clothesline off the top rope. Oh, what a springboard Phoenix splash. He says he's getting back into the groove. Rocks him in the face with a knee lift. Kamagoye, as people would like to call it. He's on the prowl. He's got him up for a... Styles Clash! Right in the middle of the ring. Oh, D went for that knee lift. But Frankie saw it coming. Frankie saw it coming. Frankie saw it coming. Sits him in the face. He says, hell no. Pace, Roy elbow straight to his jaw. Frankie with the Phoenix Splash again. Goes for another cover. Out. He's got him up. Celebrating like he just won the Super Bowl. D kicks out. Oh, D reverse. He reversed, rather. Oh, God. Springboard. Right to Frankie's back. He's not going to make it easy for Frankie. He is not. D got planned. All the way across the ring. What a macho man style elbow drop. Straight to the heart. Straight to the heart. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gargano escaped. D's favorite wrestler. Frankie says, not today. Uh, not today. Frankie's got him up. Oh, my God. Frankie's hit him with a brain buster. He's going. Mm. Going for it again. That's got to be it. What? D kicked out. What the hell? Man is like his idol, all heart. All heart. Frankie's trying to send a message to Kirby. Oh! Rock splash! Man, these guys are getting wicked out here. I mean, this, this is crazy. He wasn't going to make it. Oh, my God. He a nasty bump. That was a nasty bump. Just terrible. Frankie's in big control. Suplex. D kicks out again. Frankie 
Which had it with a little bit of extra leverage. Oh! D with a spinning Mitchell Nuku driver. He's gonna go for it again. This time nobody home. Nobody's home. Frankie with the pedigree. Oh my goodness. That has got to be it. And D kicks out again. Oh, man. Third time's got to be in the charm. That's it. That has got to be it. Frankie gets it. Wow. Frankie shaking D's hand. Sign of respect. Uh, all right. I dig it. I dig it. Now, up next, you just have a mixed tag match between members of the Rose Dynasty. Representing the Rose Dynasty today is Harlow Rose and Ryan Adams as they take on the Peaceful Boomerangs representing the Cult of Zola. Logan Zola and the six-way champion himself, Aiden Archer. Which team will get the win? A lot of bad, a lot of bad blood. Excuse me. A lot of animosity between these these four. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Representing the family from England. Weighing in at 225 pounds, Ryan F. N. Adams. Look, it's Logan Zola's favorite wrestler. Ryan F. N. Adams. And her partner, representing the family from Orangeburg, South Carolina, H. Rose. Harlow Rose. 
Rose, the Mary Mason of the Rose Dynasty. The club. Six way champion Aiden Archer and Logan Zola. Peaceful boomerangs are here. Aiden looks like he wants to write Ryan a ticket. While wow, Logan Zola is just into herself. Aiden wishes he can make it rain. start oh handspring Pele right to the face Ryan tags and Harlow now the ladies are locking up Zolo said Harlow to the corner wrenching at her arm Aiden looks like a dog on a leash Bulldog out of the corner by Logan Zola. Uh oh. Tags. So Aiden gets the tag back in. Goes right at the Ryan's leg. Got the referee instead. What a what a fool. Ryan with a little bit of a clover leaf. Cinched in. Aiden reverses. Ryan gets him up. Extra flex to a leg drop. Ooh. Saucy there. Ryan goes up top. Points at Aiden. Oh! Puck screw into an arm drag. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Breaker and face buster, Jesus. We're just trying to go after Ryan's good looks, huh? That people's moonsault. 
These two guys really don't like each other. Aiden dragged Ryan into the corner. Hangs him up in a tree of whoa. But Ryan reverses, gets out of it. Good thing for him. Aiden takes him high with head scissors, flying high. He's soaring and scoring. Uh-oh, Aiden's going for something. Springboard, oh, and he missed. Oh my God, he fumbled the ball. He missed. No water was in the pool. Lomanzola, woman handling Carlo Rose. Versus to a German suplex. <laughs> Ryan with a question mark kick inside the head. Drags Aiden into the corner. Bit of misdirection, bam! Takes his head clean off his shoulders, Mike. Ryan with a discus punch the face! Ryan the face! Uh oh! Twisted blade! Whoa! He kicked out of the twisted blade! Nobody kicks out of the twisted blade! Ryan's gonna try it again. Maybe, but Aiden reverses. <laughs> to the leg, faint DDT! Can have Ryan here, maybe not. Tyson Zola, Carla Rose comes in. Carlos got her, full Nelson, slam! Straight dunked her ass, one. No. All right. Aiden with a knee lift straight to the face. Ryan and Aiden are really playing a game of chess over here. A lot of frequent tags. A lot of freaking tags. Zola, wait a minute. Has her out. Some flower driver. That could be it. Carla Rose kicks out. Locked up. Carla Rose gets out. Wilkinsola go up high. She's up high for a spiral tap. That be it.
Kota Sola do it? Wow. Okazola gets revenge for her sister. Oof. The Rose Dynasty is not going to be happy about this. Up next, the Battle Dome champion is in action. Mac Fafita taking on Elijah Francis. Elijah Francis had a damn good showing the other day at uh, at CCW Tag Warfare. Came up short, but had a damn good, and I mean a damn good showing. Let's see what he does against the, the champion of the Battle Dome. Man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New Zealand. Weighing in at 316 pounds. The world champion, Mac F. Yeah! Champion looks ready to go. Face Chance Sill in a few weeks. For the Battle Dome Championship. Elijah Francis. The man who made a big, big, big impression. And his opponent from Pineville, West Virginia. Weighing in at 229 pounds, Elijah Francis. Elijah Francis is a little close to home. Fafita grabs Elijah up. Oh, my God. A monstrous and hellacious overhead throw. Instead of rocking him. Oh, man. Champ scoops him up. Slingshot. Power bomb. Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Damn, dog. Mac is going full savage mode. Beating the hell out of Mr. Francis. Stomping the hell out of him. Mac for Fita wants to send a message to Chance Sill in every way possible. Crash net breaker. Not even in one count. Stomp the hell out of this kid. No! 
shades of one of his favorites, Arn Anderson. Again, going right after his face. Trying to smash this kid's face open. Mack is just delivering a savage beating. Uh-oh, Elijah fighting back. Yeah. Ah, and he missed. Oh, backstabber. Elijah with a little bit of a flurry here. Turn around to the champ. Mr. Francis, Tornado DDT. Connect. Go for the cover. Next, get out of here with that bullshit. He's back on his feet. The champ. Wait a minute. Francis with another reversal. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. Under. Oh, bulldog. Feet up. Just took his head. Just, oh, my God. Took his goddamn head off with a goddamn lariat. All right. Give it the neck breaker. <laughs> Chops. Sit out, jawbreaker. Sit out, jawbreaker. Devastating. Mac is not phased. Punch to the gut. Another one. And a third for good measure. Fido's got him up. German suplex. And to a lariat. Oh my God. Uh oh. Tongue and death grip. That lets him live. Feet up. Dominant win over Elijah Francis. Up next, we have the Crown Jewel Championship. In the main event, Landon Acosta taking on Zachary Hex. These guys have really been going at it on social media. And in fact, CCW security had to break these two guys up from getting at each other earlier as they arrived to the building because these guys want to tear each other up so badly. <laughs> Leaders of their respective factions, the Bro City Maniacs and the Black Star Cartel.
she gets the win here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the television championship. It goes Landon Acosta. One of the youngest members of our roster. Looking to get some singles gold here. Can he do it? He's got the burrow on his back. Can he carry it to the promised land? Or Zachary Hicks fade his dreams to black? See what I did there? Black Craft Kid, Zachary Hex, the leader of the Black Star Cartel, the brother of Maverick. Champion looking very, very confident. Even though he's wearing a mask, you can't see his face, but you can just feel the aura of Zachary Hex. Doesn't really change. He's a strange, strange individual. Introducing the championship, championship from Charleston, South Carolina, weighing in at 265 pounds, L.A. And introducing the champion from Aurora, Colorado, weighing in at 261 pounds, he is the television champion, T.B. We go. An event, Crown Jewel Championship on the line. Two young bulls. X going at him. Some chops, lighting him up. 
Jones, knees. Hex already. Hex is all over him. Going for a quick count. Quick, quick, quick count. Punch him right in the face. Uh oh. Oh, what a bro, Derek. Oh, nope. Heck says, no way, Jose. Not right now. Guys want to show why they're the baddest men in CCW. Uh oh, Hex! Oh, Hex marks the spot. Uh oh, super kick right to the back of the head. Oh no. Knows what this means. Put over. He's into it. He's really into it. Takes him down. Having a little bit of fun. And he smacks him upside the head for good measure. Landon Acosta. Many online refer to him as the redneck Ken doll. Hey, their words, not mine. Wait a minute. Zachary Hex. The Hexagonal special locked on. LA kicks out. Lighting him up with chops. LA is going all out. He knows. This is a big opportunity of a lifetime. Hex allergic to the ropes. Yeah. What a hellacious splash. Landon Acosta going up top for a... And he missed. Oh, he got a little too cute and he missed. Jesus. I don't know why he got cute for it. He, he just missed the whole entire boat. He missed it all, man. I mean, he missed it all. Got a ball. Oh, five minute carry until that soccer ball kick right straight to the head. Oh, he's going for it again. Oh no. Hex marks the spot again. Well, wait a minute, Acosta's back up. Uh oh, Acosta's got him up. Claw slam! Hex kicks out. Very, very gnarly. Sharp elbows to the back. European uppercut to the back of the neck. Uh oh. LA's got Hex. 
Back damage, you say? Oh! Zachary Hicks might want to see a chiropractor in the morning. Costa dancing. Four. Oh, Zachary Hex, and he ain't going nowhere. Oh, he missed. All right. Hex, once again, put a stop to it. Oh, no. Costa locked him. Hexagon of special again. Costa. Zachary Hicks trying to soften him up for perhaps the fox catcher. A very, very dangerous finishing maneuver. Zachary Hicks says, no way. Oh, springboard kick. Uh oh, super kick right to the back of the neck. And these guys are going all out. Call themselves the crown jewel of CCW. Uh oh. Costa's got Hex. Oh no. He's got him up for a brain buster. Oh my god. No. Ah, elbow drop straight to the back. And Landon Acosta showing off his uh his dance moves, I guess. Straight to the face. Man, these guys are going back and freaking forth. For everything they got. Costa. No! High impact DDT right on his head. Costa has him up for the box. Catcher! One, two, whoa! 
Hex just kicked out. Oh no. Elbows right to the face. Oh, a tornado kick straight to the grill. Landon Acosta. Wait a minute. Look like a Zachary Hex like he was going for it. Hex got a special again. This match, this match. Wait a minute, Costa's got him out. Fox catcher. What the hell? Zachary Hex kicked out again. But Costa's like, hell no. They gotta stay on the gas. Oh my god, this has got to be a hex stack. Oh my god, again. Box catcher. Wow. And we have a new champ. Hex looks dejected. He's leaving with nothing. Wow. New champ, Landon Acosta, is a new crown jewel of CCW. He's the crown jewel champion. Well, ladies and gents, this is your boy, the RTJXX. Until Wednesday, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.